Hello friends, today we are going to have a discussion on English grammar with reference to the article. This is your teacher, Hira Gupta, assistant professor in the Department of Basic Science and Humanities. My contact number is 89726-18001 and you can write to me at hirak.hu at the rate aecwb.edu.in. The course title for this paper is Effective Technical Communication and Business English and Communication and the course codes that refer to these papers are HU101, CEHS301, HMHU501 and MCHU501. As I said, we are going to discuss about English grammar and in English grammar among all the different kinds of things that we have like nouns and interrogatives and adverbs and genitives, adjectives, tenses, today we are going to discuss about only articles. What do we mean by articles? What are articles? And which article should be placed where? In a nutshell we can say an article is a word that comes before a noun. For example, the boy, a bee, an apple. Now, so if we are asked the questions what are articles, we can say that articles are words that define a noun as whether it is specific or unspecific. Let us consider the following examples. After the long day, a cup of tea tasted particularly good. By using the article the, we have shown that this was one specific day that was long and one specific cup of tea that tasted good. If we write the sentence in a different way by saying after a long day a cup of tea tastes particularly good the using of the article A, we create a general statement implying that any cup of tea would taste good after any long day. So we understand that in English there are two types of articles, the definite and the indefinite. Now let us try to understand in a nutshell what we mean by an article of definition or a definite article and an indefinite article. As we know the article is the word that modifies or describes the noun. It is used before the noun to show whether it refers to something specific or not. Now, in case of a indefinite article, the indefinite article can be of two forms. It's the word a when it precedes a word that begins with a consonant and it's the word an when it precedes the word that begins with a vowel. The indefinite article indicates that the noun refers to a general idea rather than a particular thing. Let us take some examples. For example, you might ask your friend, should I bring a gift to the party? Your friend will understand that you are not asking about a specific type of a gift or a specific item. Am I going to bring an apple pie? Your friend tells you. Again, the indefinite article indicates that she is not talking about a specific apple pie. So the indefinite article only appears with singular nouns. That is, let us try to understand from these two examples. Please hand me a book. Any book will do. Please hand me an autobiography, that is any autobiography will do. 
but in both the cases we are using the singular number book and autobiography. Let us have a pictographical understanding of it. A or an is used to talk about things that are not particular. Usually these things haven't been mentioned before or the listener is unfamiliar with it. The rules are the usage is on the basis of the sound. That is, E is used before words beginning with a consonant. I hope all of you know the consonant letters in the English alphabet. That is B, C, D, E, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, Y, Z. And examples are a boy, a cat, a dog, a fight, a gym, a horse, a joke, a kite, a lion, a mirror and so on. In case of an, an is used before a word beginning with a vowel sound. And in English alphabet, we have only five vowel sounds that is A, E, I, O, U. The examples are an apple, an elephant, an idiot, an orange, an umbrella, etc., etc. So, we have understood that an indefinite article is used in case of a singular number and for something that is not particular and something that has not been mentioned before the listener. It is a which is used in case of consonant sounds following the article and it is an which is used in case of vowel letters that follows the article. Let us now try to understand what is a definite article, the which happens to be the only definite article. The definite article the is used before a noun to specify it as something previously considered. Say for example, the Taj, the boy, that means a boy about whom I have already spoken of. So when to use the? Number one, we use the after we have talked about it the first time. This is the dog, the dog is brown. So since we have already spoken about the dog the first time, I use the article a. Uh. But the second time when I am speaking about that particular dog, the dog becomes a particular one and then we use the article the. Similarly, we use the when the person you are talking to already knows what you are talking about. For example, I am going to the bank. There is someone knocking at the door. It must be the computer repairman. So this is something which we have already known that which bank I am going to, which door I am speaking of and which person is supposed to come. Try, let's try to understand it. The definite article is the and it limits the noun to one particular thing. Are you going to the party this weekend? So here the definite article tells us that your friend is referring to a very specific party that both of you know about. The definite article can be used with singular, plural as well as uncountable nouns. So that is the basic difference between a uh, indefinite article and a art definite article. In case of an indefinite article, we can only use it with singular numbers, but in case of a definite article, we use it with singular, plural as well as uncountable nouns. 
Here are some examples of definite articles being used in different contexts. Please give me the hammer. Please give me the ha red hammer. The blue one is too small. Please give me the nail. Please give me the large nail. It is the only one strong enough to hold this painting. Now try to understand that in all the sentences I am trying to speak about one specific kind of a nail and one particular type of a hammer. So naturally I am using the article the. Had it been just any hammer I would have said please give me a hammer. Had it been any nail that would have done the work I would have said please give me a nail. So let us try to understand how we speak in the definite article. In case of inventions, just like is it difficult for you to live without the computer? How often do you serve the internet? What is the top song on the radio now? It can also be in case of unique objects and people like how is the president of your country? Do you think the world is in danger? Is the sun rising brightly now? And it can also be in case of double comparatives. Like do you agree that the more you eat the thinner you get? So you are using double comparatives here. And in case of double comparatives, we are again using the definite article the. The more you travel, the more you learn. The more you earn, the more you spend. So all these are examples of double comparatives. We often use the in case of seas and oceans also. Have you ever been to the Black Sea? Is the Atlantic Ocean warm? How many islands are there in the specific ocean? And we also use the in case of superlative degrees of comparison. Like what was the best day in your life? Who is the tallest man in your family? What is the worst thing? you have ever eaten. So in these cases we are using the superlative degrees where we are using the article. It is also that the, the article is used to signify groups of people. Should people help the homeless? Are the famous happy? Are the rich afraid of? And with Kantis with plural names as well as with singular names, we use the. Have you ever been to the Bahamas? Do you know anyone who is from the Philippines? Do you have, do you like to travel to the Maldives? Similarly, we also use the while speaking about any kind of a mountain range like would you like to sky in the Eel Alps? Where are the Andes located? Why do people often visit the Himalayas? So in a nutshell we have understood that articles can be A, N and the. We use a and an for one out of many and we use the for a specific purpose. Examples, a bag, a cat, an apple, an umbrella and in case of the it is the umbrella in the bag and the cat in the tree. 
there are also exceptions when the vowel sound u sounds like u example a university or a utensil instead of saying an university or an in utensil similarly when the consonant h sound is silent we write an instead of a as in case of an hour an honor So, how to use the articles a an and the? A is used in the form of a singular countable noun in case of a person, animal, or thing which is not specific. And we have also learned that we do not use a before an uncountable noun or plural nouns. And if the noun starts with the consonant sound, then a comes before the noun. In case of an, An is used in front of a singular countable nouns which are not specific. We do not use a before uncountable or plural nouns. If the noun starts with a vowel sound, an comes before the noun. The we use the in front of all nouns. It does not matter whether the noun is singular, plural, countable, uncountable, etc and it is used to describe someone or something that is specific or unique. So these are the basic rules of a, an and the. We have some more rules which we can study and then we can move down to some exceptions. Now these exceptions are really important for us to understand. There are few exceptions to the general rule of using a before words that start with consonants and an before words that begin with vowels. The exception is that the first letter of the word honor, for example, is a consonant, but it is unpronounced. In spite of its spelling, the word honor begins to sound like a vowel sound. Therefore, we use an. Let us consider the sentence below for an illustration of this concept. My mother is an honest woman. We do not say it that way. We say, my mother is an honest woman. Similarly, when the first letter of the word is a vowel but is pronounced in the consonant sound, we do not use an but we use a as in the sample sentence given below. She is an United States Senator is not the right way of saying it. We say she is a United States Senator. This also holds true for acronyms and initials. For example, an LCD display, a UK based company, an HR department, a URL etc etc. So these are the exceptions which are very important for us to understand. So the difference between A and N is that we use A for a consonant sound and N for a vowel sound but be careful the sound of the letter is very important. So a house but an hour because in case of hour the H is silent. Similarly, an uncle but a university because U at the beginning of university sounds like Y O U U. This rule applies to all words after A or N, including adjectives and adverbs. For example, a cold day, an easy lesson a very crazy person an interesting class. So it's very important for us to realize that the sound of the letter is extremely important and it is the sound that makes us decide upon the kind of article that is going to be before the noun. Now let us try to understand articles before adjectives. 
sometimes an article modifies a noun that is also modified by an adjective the usual word order is article adjective noun if the article is indefinite choose a or an based on the word that immediately follows it let's see in this example eliza will bring a small gift to sophie's party i heard an interesting story yesterday so as we said that the article plus adjective plus noun if the article is indefinite we choose a or an based on the word that immediately follows it so if the article is small we have to follow the next word gift in order to understand whether the article that we use is a or an similarly in case of the second sentence interesting we used an before it because interesting starts with i despite the fact that story starts with s okay let's now move down to the understanding of this in a different way before a superlative degree say for example he is the best student in our class before a comparative degree the higher you rise the higher the greater the fall if one out of two is chosen he is the stronger of the two players and in case of adjectives it's the honest are always rewarded similarly when the noun qualifies the proper noun Ashoka the great and in case of ordinal numbers like chapter 2 of this book is very difficult and before adjective like shame same whole all both he is the same boy that met me in the market so we have understood it and now we are going to move down to the indefinite articles uncountable nouns uncountable nouns are nouns that are either difficult or impossible to count uncountable nouns include intangible things like information air and liquids like milk wine etc and these are too large or numerous to count like equipment sand wood because these things can't be counted we should never use a or an with them and we should remember the def indefinite article is only for singular nouns uncountable nouns can be modified by words like some however consider the examples for the reference please give me a water now water is an uncountable noun and we should not use it with an indefinite article so what we do is we come out with a better solution which is please give me some water similarly if we describe water in terms of countable units like bottles you can use the indefinite article please give me a bottle of water because now here the water is described with the help of a countable noun like a bottle or please give me an ice or please give me an ice cube but if we say 
we can also use please give me some eyes note that depending on the context some nouns can be countable or uncountable for example we need a light in this room is not justified we should say we need some light in this room so let us try to understand this once again a and some and any we have already understood the difference between a and an that a is followed by a consonant sound like as in the case of there is a bottle on the table and an is followed by a vowel sound like there is an apple on the table but in case of some and any let us try to understand that their affirmative sense we use some that is there is some cheese in the fridge but when we use in a negative sense we use the word any for example there isn't any cheese in the fridge similarly in case of an interrogative sentence again we use the con the sound the word any instead of using the word some like is there any cheese in the fridge so are you people getting the concept of a and some and any for affirmative sentences if it is a countable singular we use a and an if it is a countable plural we use some and if it is uncountable we again use some for negative sentences in a countable singular number we use a and an and for a countable plural and an uncountable number we use any and the same stands true for questions now let us try to understand articles with pronouns possessive pronouns can help to identify whether you are talking about a specific or a non specific item as we have seen in case of articles also indicate specificity but if you both have a possessive pronoun and an article at the same time readers will become confused so possessive pronouns are words like his my our its her their articles should not be used with pronouns let us see this example why are you reading the my book the and my should not be used together since they are both meant to modify the same noun so instead of using one or the other depending on the intended meaning we can say why are you reading the book or we can say why are you reading my book Now let us come down to another very interesting fact of omission of articles. Occasionally, articles are omitted altogether before certain nouns. In these cases, the article is implied but not actually present. This implied article is sometimes called a zero article. Often, the article is omitted before nouns that refer to abstract ideas. for example let's go out for a dinner tonight we often omit that a uh, and we say let's go out for dinner tonight similarly the creativity is a value quality in children is often said as creativity is a value quality in children in many languages and nationalities are not to be preceded by an article for example i studied the french in high school for 4 years is not correct english we have to say i studied french in high school for 4 years similarly sports and academic subjects do not require articles as in case of i like to play the baseball should be replaced with the sentence 
I like to play baseball and my sister was always good at maths needs to be substituted by a better sentence which says my sister was always good at maths so when to use no article number one when we talk about things in general like milk is good for you number two to talk about sports and games like they go let's go and play basketball number three before names of countries like Japan France Italy however there are some exceptions like the UK and the US which are abbreviations before the names of the language for example we are learning English not we are learning the English and before names of railway stations when they are also place names number six before the names of meals for example they invited some friends to dinner and before a noun plus number that is the laboratory is in room number six on the third floor so I hope you people are going to remember all these seven rules of not using the article and here we have the final articles chart in singular cases we use e or an for general purposes and we omit for plural purposes in case of specific we use the for singular purposes as well as plural purposes now here is an exercise for you all a very very simple exercise of what should be the article a or an before the words orange frog dog cat ice cream shoe goat umbrella bed elephant fish apple spider and duck i'm sure all of you will be getting the right answers if you want me to check your answers you can send them via mail to my official email id which is given at the beginning of this presentation now another exercise with a an or some so what do we say a banana and banana or some bananas and in this way we'll have to find out the answers to each and every one of them dash juice dash fish dash burger dash chips and so forth and so on well I hope all of you have understood what is articles if still there are some clarifications necessary you can write to me at hirk dot hu at the rate aecwb dot edu dot in or you can call me up at my official contact number which is eight nine seven two six one eight four zero one thank you all i hope you people will be much better with your articles from today onwards have a good day